let one person speak for me, two of you won't be No, I'm not going to do that. But we, uh, I have a facility now out of my time. Oh, I'm so sorry. Your time is so sorry. You have to speak. You know, I said, I've only ever been asked, that's that good. I'm going to speak. I told this time was up to serve. Your time is up. Please, let's go. See me outside. I have an address where I can, you can see me. My meetings on Friday. Come see what's being done to you. You need to know for your children, for yourselves as widows, and spouses of, with children. I'm not the VA, I'm not government paid. The word this is again, the first district. I have several uh, comments and questions to see you then. Uh, to begin with, uh, these meetings here uh, are always important to me. You all say that uh, you could have come to me and asked me. Well, I would have uh, given you the answer. Uh, you know, I've gone to many of you and, and asked you questions. Uh, uh, one thing that's always been in my heart was the YMCA here, and I've asked you then why you couldn't have uh, designated the property uh, for that to happen here. And I didn't ask many of you. Uh, or you don't sign in together for that reason. Uh, be that as it may, uh, I think that uh, people ought to be able to hear uh, dialogue uh, things they don't know uh, because it uh, makes you that more informed about what is going on in the city. Uh, when uh, here uh, a week or two ago, I uh, bought to uh, use them the fact that there was a marijuana store at 9305 uh, Venice Boulevard. And uh, I came in here, uh, uh, as Mr. Pixera has on occasion, he went to the clerk's office. And this helped me very helpful uh, to ask uh, several questions as to uh, how that uh, marijuana store got there, uh, who owned that store. Uh, when it was publicized as to, uh, uh, you know, uh, to let the community know that it was happening. And uh, I couldn't get any of those answers. So, you know, I'm going to ask you all, and I'm going to charge you to get those answers for me. You know, I couldn't get them. I couldn't get them to the clerk's office. So I would like to know uh, for the benefit of the community. And more than that, uh, uh, that you then, as individuals, would uh, uh, begin to let the community know that uh, you know what you think about it, and uh, if you think it's a good place for a business that's going on. You know, uh, I asked you other questions too uh, about uh, business, and you're always talking about uh, money uh, with uh, rear shore up. Uh, Holly Park. Uh, in the corner of uh, Prairie and, and Century. Uh, that corner, there's always a bunch of cars being yes, uh, transported uh, back and forth. And I was wondering why we don't get uh, some uh, funds from that. There are other uh, businesses in the city that I've brought to the uh, attention of uh, people in the city that are yes, running yes. illegally and uh, they can't make it. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon. Are you here? Council members, staff. I am Lisa Brass, business owner and long-time resident of New York. I'm here today to discuss an issue that I believe to be an important one in the overall health of our great city. I'm a proud resident of the city. I'm proud of what we have and what we will accomplish. This is our meeting. It shouldn't feel like only certain people can have a say in our meeting. It shouldn't be that a small group of people and a few council members can dictate the quality of our meeting. That other residents feel like they don't have a say, they don't have a place, that they don't matter, that they are not welcome. <coughs> I've had occasion to talk to some of my neighbors about coming out and supporting our meetings. They use 
words like ridicule, negativity, fear, unprofessionalism, ignorance, circus, and a plain waste of good time. These are where words that should not be associated with our meetings. I've attended quite a few meetings over the past several years and have left each one of them with the same feeling, and I could probably use some of the words. But the last meeting I attended a few weeks ago was the case. I actually felt physically threatened. When I sat down after speaking, I heard all kinds of comments behind me like plant, traitor, mayor's pet, and even one of my council members felt the need to rebut my opinion. All because I voiced an opinion that just happened not to be the popular opinion. I almost felt as if I had no right to share my opinion because it differed from theirs. That is completely unfair, and it is not the way our meeting should be run. I honestly can't believe that we have come to this. There has to be some neutrality. After all, this is a democracy, I've heard. There has to be a way where we work together, where every opinion matters, no matter how diverse, no matter how unpopular. But everybody's opinion should be heard and respected for the betterment of our great city. We are on the verge of greatness here, and we need every man, woman, and child to be positively engaged. My name is Linda Brad. I'm a business owner, a long time resident of Inglewood, and I will not be running away from our people. Thank you. My name is Willie A.T., and I've been with the And thank God for women like Miss Brass. I endorse every word that she said. Absolutely. We live in we live in a great city. We got three great leaders. We got a beautiful staff. And we got the city clip and the best trade in the world. Absolutely. And uh, I'm proud to be a citizen of the city of Inglewood and the beautiful city of Inglewood. And Miss Brass just really said things right. I support everything she said. Thank you very much. Keep the good work on the phone. Appreciate it. Whatever we 